Hi everyone. This morning I wanted to show you all how to join as you go these starburst motifs um, for your winter burst cowl. This join is awesome for blankets and any other motif project that you've got going on, especially if you want them to be double sided because it's pretty well, you know, an invisible join. Um, the benefits of joining this way are pretty well endless. Um, you have less sewing in of tails when you're finished, um, less wasted yarn, and again the invisible two-sided effect. Um, it also works up really quickly so you don't have a million squares lying around your house like I always do. <laughs> um, if you're interested in the winter burst cowl, I'll have a link in the description box below. Um, there's a free version on my website and I'll also have like a purchasable printable PDF if you're interested. Okay, so I'm going to be using the same yarn that I had used in the pattern for this tutorial. So it is a super squishy, super soft. Um, it's 100% super wash merino in a bulky weight from Hello Stella Fibers. Um, and I'm going to be using my six, where is it here? Six millimeter hook or size J. I'm going to assume that you know all of your basic stitches for the pattern so we can just get started. Um, I did want to mention one other thing. So if you are familiar with join as you go or if you've seen my sunburst tutorial, it's exactly the same thing, almost. <laughs> so the only difference is that with the sunburst, you have these half double crochets in the center here because it's a bigger round. It has 16 stitches around. And so in order to make that straight edge, you need to do your trebles in the corner, double crochets, half double crochets, then double crochet and treble. Okay, so the technique is the exact same. So if you know how to do it, you're not going to learn anything new here. If you don't, stick around. Um, for this one, it's a smaller, it's a smaller circle. So there's only 12 stitches around. So you don't need that, that extra um, cluster in the center here of the half double crochets. You're just going to do two double crochets and keep going across. So it's your trebles, double, double, treble. Okay, so that's the only difference between the two tutorials, but I thought it was significant enough that if you're new to it or just learning that, you know, it would be relevant information to share. So let's get started. I'm going to put my cowl away here, set it aside. So I've got my motifs worked up. I'm going to do four because that will show you how to join them across your row and then it will also show you how to join your corners in the following round or the following row, whatever you want to call it. So what we do when we're creating join as you go projects is that we always complete the very, very first square of your project. Okay, so you complete all four rows. The rest of them, however, you're only going to do the first three. Okay, and then you're going to use the fourth row to join to each subsequent square in your project. So I'm going to probably be joining in the light color because that's what I have the most of here. Um, so you're going to be using whatever colors were in your pattern, whatever color combos you have decided to use. Um, so they might be all different just like mine is here. So I've got, you know, pink against green and hot pink, but I don't think I have enough yarn to do that. So I'm just going to be using all light pink. Maybe. We'll see. So you take your first square and I usually start going right to left. I don't know why. So it's kind of upside down if you're working the cowl pattern, but it doesn't matter. You can start this way, this way, this way over here. Does not matter. You start in any corner for this first one. It just does not matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook into any of the spaces between our three double crochets. Okay, I usually like to start where I finished off my yarn. I'm just going to insert my hook, place my yarn over my hook, pull it through, and then we're going to yarn over both of those tails and join it on. And I'm going to chain two more so that this counts as a join and a chain three all in one and it's technically your first treble, okay? So I'm going to yarn over and work two more trebles into this space to complete, to make a corner, or the start of a corner. So we insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that again, yarn over twice, or wrap your yarn twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to chain two for my corners here, and then I'm going to work three more trebles into this same space to complete the corner. And I'm going to be working through this tutorial along with you, so um, you don't have to worry about me skipping ahead or leaving you to it. If you need to pause the video to get caught up, feel free to do so. Okay, so now I'm going to work my first edge. I'm going to put three double crochets in this space and three double crochets in my next space. And this will create the first side of the square. Okay, so very similar to the beginning of the fourth round in the written pattern. And now I'm going to do the first half of this corner and then we're gonna pause. So we're gonna do three trebles into this next space here. One, two, and three. Okay, so let's pause. Now is when we join. So I always like to do one side. Um, you can just do half of a corner when you're starting out and join right away over here, like join this corner to your square right away. Um, I don't know, I like to get one edge going before, before joining, so this is the way I do it, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to chain one and then inserting our hook from front to back, you slip stitch it to the corner of your motif. And then you're just going to finish off this corner with three trebles. Okay, so that is now, pull it apart here, so that is now joined together. And we're going to work up the side this way. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we finished our corner here. See, we've got our three trebles, three trebles. Now I need to join up the side. So all we do is slip stitch into the space on our square. Okay, snug it up, not too tight, but tight enough that you don't have wobbly stitches. And then you're just gonna complete your three double crochets into this working square here or working motif. It's not technically a square yet, is it? And then we're going to put our three double crochets into this next space. Or sorry, no, we're not. We are going to slip stitch into that space. Good grief. Slip stitching from front to back. And then we put our three double crochets over here. Confused yet? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, and then we get the knotted yarn. Of course we do. Wouldn't be a tutorial without some sort of catastrophic failure on my behalf, right? Okay, so then we're gonna slip stitch over here. All we're doing is slip stitching up the sides of our motifs. And now we've worked our two double crochets, so we know now that we have to do our corner stitch. So we're gonna put three trebles over here, working half of that corner. Then we're going to chain one, okay, and slip stitch into our corner over here. Chain one, and then finish off this corner with your three trebles into that space. So I'm gonna pull them apart here and step back, have a look. So there, you have one side officially joined, all right? Easy, easy peasy, nothing to it. Oh, but I'm gonna fight with this yarn. 
Yes, because that's what I wanted to do in a tutorial. Ugh. Okay, so now we're going to work our third side here. So just three double crochets, three double crochets. We're not connecting to anything, so we're just working uh, the remainder of our fourth round here as we normally would. Okay, three double crochets in each space. And then once you've put them in here, you're going to do your third corner, fourth corner, fourth corner. Three trebles, chain two, three trebles. <laughs> Time to fight with the yarn again. Look at that. I just need enough to finish this side of the square. Okay, we're going to finish our last side of the square by putting three double crochet and three double crochet. up on me but you know it just wouldn't be a Mallory tutorial if we didn't have some sort of you know thing happening right guys every time without fail <laughs> I'm just I'm just rolling with it I should start like a bloopers channel okay to finish your round, we are going to slip stitch into the top of our first treble here, not into the chain three. Okay, that creates a nice tight join like so. And then cut our yarn. At this point, I would sew in that end. I don't have any tips and tricks for you in that regard. Um, but I flip it over and then I work down these two stitches here. Okay, I work down here and then I follow it along into the back of these two bumps here towards this side and then I put this tail in and sew them both in at the same time. Okay, sewing both sails back and forth three, four times and then that should be secure. I'm not gonna do that because I actually wanna save this yarn and turn it into something else because it's gorgeous gorgeous yarn. So I won't be finishing it. Okay, so you've got your first two done. You're going to work across the row of your blanket, your cowl, whatever it is you're making, and then you would start the next row. So you're going to start the next row down here. I'm going to use a different color and hope that I don't run out because my light pink is all knotted. It's good times, good times. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We're going to insert our hook into any of the spaces between our three double crochets, drape our yarn over the hook, pull it through, yarn over both of them at the same time, and pull through. Okay, so that's joined, and we're going to chain two. This counts as your first treble. And we're going to work our first corner, so we're going to do three trebles, chain two, three trebles. And then in the next space, you're going to work three double crochets and three double crochets. So nothing's changed here. We're doing the exact same thing that we did with the previous square. We work along one side and then we're going to join it. Okay, and then I'm going to do the first half of my corner over here. 
So three trebles, and then I'm going to chain one. And chain one. Okay, now I'm ready to join it to my project. So I'm going to kind of twist it here, and I'm going to join in this corner, okay? With hook inserted from front to back, slip stitch it on, and then just complete your, oops, I forgot to chain one. I want to chain one, and then I want to treble, okay? And you technically don't have to chain one. Um, it's personal preference. I like to chain one just because it gives it a little more drape. Um, if you're working a blanket and you want it to be a nice tight seam though, then don't, don't chain one. You get to experiment with all different types of things. We make our own rules, okay guys? So we're going to slip stitch into this next space here and we're going to join our square to this edge. And then work our three double crochets. Okay, slip stitch into your next space over here. And this is about time in the tutorial when I remind you all that if you're getting lost or getting confused, just take a step back and look at what you're actually doing, okay? Because I know it gets all twisted and turned around and upside down and inside out on camera here because it's hard to zoom out and then actually show you what I'm doing. But um, whenever you're confused or you're lost or you think you've messed up, just, you know, take your hook out and look at what you're actually doing because it's, it's really straightforward. It seems complicated and a little bit intimidating, but it's really not, okay? All you're working is your straight edges together. You're just slip stitching to the square beside it, okay? So always just kind of, you know, take a deep breath, slip stitch into your next space, okay? I'm going to work half of my corner here. Okay, and I'm going to chain one. And now where are we? So when we're over here and we're joining and there's no other squares up top, we just have to join into the corner that's available, right? But over here, now that I've got three squares coming together here, I'm not going to join into the one adjacent. I'm always going to join into my diagonal square and that keeps it nice and tight, okay? You want all your corners to come together nice and tight. If I did over here, and then join the next one to its square beside it, then you would have this like gaping hole in your corner, okay? So you always want to go into the diagonal square. If there is no diagonal square, then you just go beside, okay? Don't overthink that, just go with what's there. <laughs> and then we're gonna finish that corner with three trebles, okay? Just like we do for all of them. So there, you have one corner officially joined and it's nice and tight. And when we come up and join the square over here, we're gonna join it to this diagonal one and you'll have a nice tight corner. No loosey goosey. We're gonna finish up this side by putting three double crochets in each of the spaces. And then we're going to finish this last corner down here with our three trebles. Chain two, three trebles. Finish up the last side of your square here with three double crochets in each of the spaces. Okay, 
And then we're going to join our round by slip stitching into the top of the treble, not the chain three. So no surprises there. Again, if I were doing a blanket or whatever, or a real project and not a tutorial, then I would sew this tail in and deal with it as I go. I'm pretty strict about that. So this is what we have, okay? Now we're going to join our last square here and you should be all set to go. I'm afraid to use the light pink, so let's all cross our fingers and hope that I don't run out of green. <laughs> I think this one color was called lichen. Okay, so I'm going to toss this aside and I'm going to start my round by inserting my hook just like we did all the other ones. work our first side here. Again, you don't have to work the full side. If you don't want to, you can just start with half a corner and then join right away and then work around. It doesn't matter as long as you don't do too many sides and then you won't have enough to actually join your square. Okay, so do one side or just start right away in your first corner, whatever, you know, is comfortable for you. Just don't get going too far on your square because then you won't have enough sides left to actually join it to your whatever project you're working on. Which sometimes I do when I'm not paying attention. I'll just be crocheting away and watching TV and boom, then I have to go, oh, and take it all out. <laughs> so I've worked half my corner. I'm going to join down here. Okay, I've or half corner chain one. Now we're going to slip stitch to our project over here and chain one and finish the corner. And I'm going to slip stitch up the side because even though this is all wobbly and loosey goosey and all over the place here, we're actually working up this way and then across. So I'm going to slip stitch over here and work my double crochets. Slip stitch, double crochets. Mm, I think it's about time for a coffee break. I'm working half of my corner now that I've completed my double crochets over here. So I'm just working half that corner with my three trebles, chain one, and now where are we? Okay, we're ready to join our corner. So we're going to go into the diagonal one, remember? Over here, grab that yarn from under. It gets pretty bulky when you already got three squares joined in a corner. So that's also one of the reasons why I like to chain one after that join. It just kind of brings your yarn closer to your working motif. And I don't know, I find it's less bulky. Oops, I didn't yarn over twice. So I'm going to complete this corner. By working our three trebles. Oh my goodness. There we go. And now we work along this side, okay? So nothing different over here. We're just slip stitching. If I can get the yarn on my hook. <laughs> and we are doing our double crochets. You can 
probably hear the furnace turning on in the background, eh? It's cold. We woke up to snow this morning. My husband took the little ones out and they're all very excited for the snow. <laughs> took a while for it to come this year. Okay, so I've got half my corner. And now I'm going to slip stitch beside. If you are working along a longer row up here, you would go into the diagonal corner. Okay, friendly reminder. Finish off this treble here. Three trebles in our corner. And then your double crochets down the side. Almost done. Okay, to join our round, we are going to slip stitch into the top of the treble, not into that chain three. And there you have it. So then again, I would sew in that end. I would go down the back of this one over here, thread this through my needle and sew them both back and forth three or four times, okay? So there you have it, four squares joined and complete. I hope this was helpful, enjoy.